Greetings everybody, this is Domingo with you today. Hope you're doing fantastic. And today we're going to be showing you how to use Brave browser. Now, I made a video about this before, but it wasn't the best video that I made on the Brave browser because I was over exaggerated. I didn't show everything on this browser and my apologies for that. So this is going to make up for the fact that I made a lackluster video and I'm going to show you what this browser is truly capable of. So get some popcorn, have a nap before watching this video, and hold on to your butts because we're going to show you a lot of things. Now, Brave Browser is not your normal browser. It uses the Chromium engine and it allows you to bookmark and watch content but the thing is, you can also earn cryptocurrency in the form of Brave Rewards, or basic attention tokens as they call it. This is one way that you can exchange those basic attention tokens into currency via a digital wallet. Now that's not bad. My link is in the description below so that you can click on and get Brave for yourself so that way you can support me as a content creator and you can also benefit from these amazing benefits. So. Here's the tutorial. Now, I was able to import all of my bookmarks from Google Chrome into this browser. So the setup sort of reminds you of Google Chrome, but it necessarily is not in a way. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it is not necessarily Google Chrome, but it is its own browsing entity. Now, here are the features for it. It blocks trackers and ads so it's automatically more secure than most browsers. Sorry, Microsoft Edge, I don't think you made the cut for this one. And then you can save on bandwidth here, and you can also save on time. And it also shows you really nice pictures here. Now this is the main page that shows whenever you start up Brave. It shows the time on the right. You can customize how it looks by hiding the clock, but then you can also show the clock again if you want. So to customize your page even further, you go down here to customize, and then it shows sponsored images and background images, and then it also shows Brave stats, meaning your statistics in using Brave, like sort of like how much data you saved, what kind of ads it blocks, and also the time you save. And then your top sites, it shows the top sites that allow you to make basic contention tokens. There are certain sites that allow you to make basic contention tokens, and that is why Brave is so famous for it. And then there's also the clock, where you can just go here and show the clock if you accidentally removed it. And then there's also more cards. So Gemini is where it allows you to trade crypto on Gemini directly on the browser. And then it also shows Binance, where you can trade crypto on Binance directly in your browser. And then it also shows your Brave Rewards window, where it says earn tokens for watching privacy respecting ads. That's really cool because we do want our privacy respected and we do want a little bit of a compensation for it. So that's really nice. So this is a way that you can customize your dashboard. These five options allow you to make your Brave experience a better one. So we're going to close this and then the gear here allows you to go into your Brave settings and then this is the meat and potatoes of it. This is the engine as we say. So you can go to profile name and icon and we can choose from a variety of styles and colors. So I'm leaning more towards the swirly yellow. So we can select that and then that's what happens. And then I'm just going to select here for the sake of it, D22 Iway. So that's the name of the profile. And then you can go to appearance and then you can go same as windows or you can go brave dark or brave light as you can see. But well, for this instance, we're going to go Brave Dark, which is really cool. And then you can go to the web store and you can download themes from the web store, which is really nice so that you can make your Brave experience a whole, a whole game changer, a whole customizable experience. And like I said, it uses the Chrome engine, so it allows you to go to the web store and you can get your own themes here. Okay, so it uses the Chrome web store to allow you to customize the way you like. Uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to select, let's say, uh, Galaxy Arrow. And then we're going to go Add to Brave. So we're going to do that quickly. Some of these files, depending on how many megabytes they are, take a little bit, depending on the speed of your internet. Okay, so 
once we've gotten our theme, I didn't apply the theme, I just wanted to show you what it was like, then you can just set your theme. And then you can go show home button here, where it shows you the home button, where it takes you to the home page. But then you can also enter a custom address, like let's say uh, gmail.com. So then you can do that, and then it shows, it goes to your home page as Gmail, like that. So then we're going to go back, and then we'll just set it as the new tab page for the time being. And then you can also show your bookmarks, use a wide address bar, so when you turn that on, it makes the address bar a lot wider, which is really nice if you like it wide. Don't make jokes about that. I'm sorry. It sounded really weird. But yeah, it shows here, show suggested sites in autocomplete suggestions. You can turn that on if you like, so if you're not sure about something. And then the Brave Rewards button is the location when Brave Wars is not enabled. I can hide that if I want, but I actually need that, so I'm going to leave that. Then always show bookmarks on the new tab page. We'll leave that. Then show full URLs. I mean, full URLs, I think that's like just something that you can do if you like. Then the font size is set to medium, which is what you see here. Or you can set it to very large. If you need it to be large, again, don't make any jokes about that. Uh, you can just set the size however you like. So depends whatever you prefer. Again, no jokes about that. So we're just going to leave it to medium because it's recommended. Again, no jokes about that, please. So we're going to go into... You can also customize fonts where it allows you to adjust the font size to huge, which you're not going to do. Again, no more jokes. And then the minimum font size, however you like. Like that. So you can set the standard font in this window here, and you can also use any downloaded fonts that you have used as well. But this is where it starts. Uh, we're just going to select Road Rage here. That's my favorite font. And then the Serif font. We'll just go with uh, Road Range again. That's my favorite. I like this font. This is one of my favorite fonts. And I think I'll definitely keep that. You can also set the Sans Serif font. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Love it. This is my favorite font, as you probably already know. And then you can go to the new tab page. And normally, for the Brave dashboard, you leave all these checked. And then for the sync, you can start using sync to uh, start a new sync chain. But we don't have to worry about this right now. If you're not sure what sync setup is, uh, you will need to have Brave installed on all your browsing devices, like your phone, your tablet, your computer, what I'm using right here, so that you can get started. And you can start a sync chain. But we're not going to do that right now. You need a sync code to do that. So if you don't have a sync code, then don't worry about it. You just have to use Brave on all your devices. So. Shields is the next option here. It says you can block trackers and ads which follow you across the web, which is really nice. And then you can customize the look and feel of the shields, show the number of blocked items on the shields. That's sort of a nice thing where it shows how many things you blocked. And it also has a simple view or an advanced view where it shows advanced statistics if you're into that sort of thing. And then trackers and ads blocking, it's standard here. Aggressive, meaning it blocks quite a bit. So just select standard right here and then you can upgrade connections to HTTPS which is really nice and then you can also block scripts if you are not into scripts and then you can also block cookies. Uh, you can select only cross-site or disable them or go to all and then fingerprinting blocking is pretty standard and then you can set it to strict but it may break some sites and then you can also disable it. So Leave it as standard if you're not sure about it. Uh, social media blocking. It says here, allow Google login buttons on third-party sites, allow Facebook logins and embedded posts, Twitter embedded tweets, LinkedIn embedded posts. Now, if you're not familiar with all this, just leave it as it is. And you can also select the search engine, and my default's Google, or if you want it more secure, Brave recommends DuckDuckGo. And then you can also manage your search engines from here. So like I said, if you're not sure about this, don't change it. And then your extensions here is one of the most important options where it manages your crypto wallet. 
So Web3 provider for using dApps is set to crypto wallets. You can ask or you can also set it to none, but leave it on crypto wallets. And then you can load the crypto wallets on startup like this. And then it says here, Hangouts component to show screen sharing and other features. The IPFS companion, it allows you to support IPFS in this browser. So if you're not sure about that, don't use it. I would just look it up before you use it. Uh, media router component to enable Chromecast in the browser. So I would use Chromecast and we're going to turn that on. And then changes will take effect when you relaunch Brave. And then there's also a private window with Tor. Tor hides your IP address from the sites you visit. Okay, makes sense. And then there's a web torrent to display torrents directly in the browser. Supports torrenting files and magnet links. Widivine allows you to install Widivine on your computer. You can leave that on if you like. I'm not sure about this feature. Uh, manage extensions. You can manage your extensions that you have installed here. So these are all the extensions that I have. And you can remove or go into developer mode if you're not sure or if you're sure what to do. So we're going to go back into settings here and then we move on to this. Then you can get more extensions using the web store. And then we went to sync, search engine, extensions. Then we're going to go into additional settings and see what else there is. Privacy and security. These options you can set at your own preference. Autofill, passwords, payment methods, and more. You don't have to look at that. That's personal stuff. And then downloads printing, help tips, system. You can also reset the settings if you like. And then there you go. Those are your settings here. Now for the Brave Rewards, when you set up Brave Rewards, it gives you this wallet where you need to have an uphold account in order to use it. So if you set up an uphold, you can link your Brave browser to your uphold wallet so that you can start earning with basic attention tokens. And it shows here you can turn it off or on. And then it says here you can earn tokens by viewing Brave ads. Ads presented are based on your interests as inferred from your browsing behavior. No personal data or browsing history ever leaves your browser, which is good. So, so far I've earned 0.025 basic attention token, which is the equivalent of one penny US. And then it shows your payment date, and then it shows ad notifications received, and then there is an auto contribute. So an automatic way to support publishers and content creators like myself, set a monthly payment and browse normally. The Brave verified sites you visit will receive your contributions automatically based on your attention as measured by Brave. So it measures all this. And then you can set payments to however you like. And if you earn up to 5,000, that's like a dollar. But if you earn up to 100 basic contention tokens, that's usually 24 US dollars. And if you convert that to Canadian, that's a little bit more. And then you can also set monthly contributions here. And these are the uh, basic sites. The check marks are the ones that are verified. And the attention percentage is right here. And then the monthly contributions, you can also set that to whoever you like. And the next contribution date is this date. It specifies a date for you. And then you can also tip content creators as you browse by using the reward panel or by using the inline tip button on various sites using Twitter, Reddit, and GitHub. And then you can also adjust the tip settings. And there you go. So you can earn quite a bit of profit by using this. Then your history is obviously the history of sites that you went on. And then there is also your bookmarks, your downloads, and your crypto wallets. So if you go to brave colon slash slash wallet, it shows all your wallets here. You can create a new local wallet to access decentralized apps and store crypto and collectibles securely. Trade tokens anonymously with no trading fees. Then there's Ledger and then Trezor. So those are the wallets that you can use. You can create a wallet or you can connect these two. So the best part about this is that it not only makes your browsing experience more secure and you can customize it, it's just like Google Chrome in a sense but it has better features. It has a more incentivized way of using the internet. It makes your internet experience a lot more safer. So now we're going to go to the home page, which takes you back to the tab, and it shows that there's a lot of ads blocked here. And then you can just click on the shield. It doesn't show anything yet because we're on the home page. But if you click on the basic attention triangle, it shows your summary. You can add funds, reward settings, and no activities yet. 
So if we're going to go to a site, let's go for example, this site here, protonvpn.com. So let's say you're looking for a virtual private network and you're quite interested in what this has to offer. This check mark appears onto the right and then it shows here it is a Brave verified creator. That is an example of how uh, Brave gives you basic attention tokens and the more you browse that is a Brave verified creator, the more attention tokens you get. So you're basically getting paid to browse. That's the best thing ever and it shows all the information here. You can send the tip and there's the summary right there. Isn't that amazing? It's really cool. So let's say you're searching for a VPN. ProtonVPN is one of the best ways to connect. So you can sign up for it, download it, and use it however you like, which is really cool. And then it asks you to upgrade to a payment plan. But yeah, it's just essentially you get paid to browse. So we're gonna go to YouTube as an example. So from here, it blocks the ads for the shield. So it shows on the icon here how many ads it blocks. And then from here, it shows if it's a brave verified created site. So that's what you do. So we're going to try another site, uh, which is qme.com. Now, I've used this site before, and it allows me to make money doing surveys. So it blocks the shields here, and it shows the surveys that I've done. And I'm going to make the font a little bit smaller here. There we go. So it blocks all of the ads here, and it shows the statistics. And you can change the shield settings and may affect it. But you don't have to change anything here. If you block stuff, then it's fine. So you can just try shields down. If the site appears broken, then you can do shields down. But it's entirely up to you. So, yeah, that is generally the gist of using Brave. I've explained how to customize it, how to set up your wallet, and how to get started with the whole process and getting paid for browsing, which is really, really nice. So, I feel that this video is a lot better of explaining things more than the one that I made before. And I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watching this. And if you like it, you can leave a comment below and give me some feedback on how I can make my videos better. And then you can also click on my link in the description so that you can download Brave for yourself and support my channel so I can keep making content like this. So have a great day, and we'll see you next time for another video.